Sony just released the Sony Alpha 1, an absolute monster of a camera. Now, I'm not going to get in too in-depth on the specs here because they're done everywhere, but there's a huge reason why 8K matters. Yeah, it's an 8K camera. If you're one of the, nobody's an 8K TV, what's the point? Then this video is not for you. My name is Vic Barry, and for thoughts, techniques, and tips on making videos, then please hit subscribe, especially if you find this video useful. I'm gonna blaze through the specs here really quickly, so buckle your seatbelt and hold on. Here we go. So the Sony Alpha 1, it has got 50 megapixels that will shoot at 30 FPS. It's What's this? It's got insane autofocus that now detects birds. The autofocus runs 120 AFA calculations per second. Did I mention it shoots 8K? It's got 15 stops of dynamic range. It's got silent shutter. You can shoot whatever you want, wherever you want, legally. It's got 4K 120. It's got S Cinetone, which is available only in Sony's high-end cinema cameras, which things will look insane directly out of the camera. It's got active mode optical image stabilization. It's similar to the A7S III for heat dissipation, so overheating shouldn't be an issue. It's got a full-size HDMI port because micro mini HDMI ports of Spawn of Devil. It's got a 16-bit raw video output. It's got USB-C 3.2 10 gigabits per second. It's got an Ethernet connection. It's got a Z battery. Huh? Hang on. It's got a Z battery. Here's the thing. Funny enough, some of the videos on the Sony Alpha 1 are all pushing the battery grip. Here's the reason why. Z batteries are amazing. They are really efficient batteries in some of the higher-end Sony cameras. In fact, the A6600 that I'm shooting this video on uses a Z battery, and it lasts a pretty long time. 8K, though? Mm yeah, I think we'll need that battery grip. There's some insane specs here. Sure, it's expensive, but for the price and these kind of specs, it's it's crazy. The 50 megapixel is really screaming at photographers. This is a photographer's camera. And the high-speed wireless connectivity, you know, this means that it's going to be perfect for pro shooters. Olympics is coming up. But, hopefully. But what about video? The Sony Alpha 1 shoots 8K at up to 30 frames per second. Now, to put all that into comparison, this is 1080p. Majority of the cameras from any manufacturer will shoot this. Now, this is how big 4K is, which something like the Sony ZV-1 shoots. And your phone, maybe. And this is 8K. As you can see, this is absolutely huge. Now, I know what you're thinking. What's the point in 8K? There's hardly no 8K TVs, and the few 8K TVs that are there are so expensive, I can't afford one anyway. So there's no point. That's where you're wrong. There's a huge point. Shooting something in 8K, let alone 4K, gives you so many different options in editing. With the size of 8K, you can completely reframe your shot to however you want, without any loss of quality. See, I can kind of do it here as this is shot in 4K, but as it's 4K, I'm limited to what I can do, but I can still do it and I can only push it so far. Look, either way, this can be invaluable in the creative space for a million reasons. But until you wished you had it and needed it, it's kind of hard to envision it. So if anything, think of it in its most basic terms. It's a safety net for when you frame things poorly. This gives you a second chance or a second shot. Actually, speaking of shots, with the right lens, something like 8K can give you so many shot options, like a wide shot, a, shall we say, a normal shot, as well as a close-up and a super tight shot, all with one camera and one shot, without any loss of detail. So while you can do that with 4K, you're going to start losing quality quite quickly once things get a bit too close. The price point on the Sony Alpha 1 is beyond many of our reaches, for now. Do you want it? Sure. Do you need it? Here, look, it can be 12K, high black magic, but if the story ain't good, it doesn't matter. Granted, good gear can most definitely help you tell better stories. But it's all got to start somewhere, right? 